squad is missing, bro. I'm here with a dope R&B artist, Pam G. Where can they find the music at, Pam? Right now, you can go on Instagram, Pamela T Music, Facebook, Pamela Gray, and I have a site running, www.pamelagmusic.com, where I'll be all updated. Check me out here. Dope content. My music shout out is going to come later, but today we hear more to talk about the concept of the first collaborative video we're going to do together. And as narcissism, what is it that you want to tell them about narcissism? What is narcissism? So narcissism, all of us have a little bit of it inside. We all have a, a piece of us that thinks we're great. And you should have a piece of you that you think you're great because you need to have that that esteem to get you through this world. Right. But what narcissists are, they're on the other spectrum. They're extreme with it. Right. So basically, um, these people, they think they're God. They basically. think they're God. They think they can do no wrong, say no wrong. They're entitled to everything. In a sense, they're children. They, they're children. Like a four-year-old kid. If you have kids, if you know how kids are, they don't care. You give a kid what they want, or they they going to find a way to manipulate you to give it to you until that parent finds a way to to show that child that that's not how to be. So imagine a grown up right. that's still four in their brain who right. goes through life trying to get by that way, never really um, gathering the ways to get through life in a healthy way, like a, a regular person who has empathy. So a nurse, a narcissist, a real person with a a narcissistic personality. So you and I, we feel. If I pinch your ass, you feeling that. A narcissist don't feel it too. But in a sense, they're not gonna. Their brain, they don't care. They don't love for real. They don't care. So how do you think that affects people in relationships and post relationship dealing with someone that's narcissistic? Exactly. So these people, you know, these people, they don't want to do that. They lazy. They don't care. They they take. They don't give. So imagine yourself being with a personality like that. And I know you all have been with personality like that. Imagine being with someone who just takes from you and never gives. You know how it feels. It feels it, it sucks you away of your of right. your being. And these people target the worst exactly these, the sick thing about these personalities is they target people, empathic people, because they don't have that feeling. So they target those people who they know they that they can manipulate and that those people will give them what they need for their life. But these people, they don't have a soul, they don't care. They're walking around out here and they're hurting us. And right. they're 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 taking away our ability to achieve greatness. Right. Because when, when you deal with a person like this, they suck you up your energy. You need your energy, okay? We we always trying to get energy from You gotta protect your energy. Exactly. You gotta get up, you have things to do, you have kids, you have a job. So how are you gonna get through life if you're dealing with a person that's taking your energy? So this is business. So it's about energy about negatives and positives. So you imagine yourself, you out here in the world, you're trying to be great, you're trying to be positive, and then you have this, this opposite person in your life who's not in the sense really trying to be great. They have no feeling, they really don't care, they're just trying to get by by way of you. So imagine you having this personality in your life all day, taking from you, your money, your time, your energy. Imagine what that's gonna do to your brain. That's gonna stop you from feeling great. Because they need that energy to feel to feel their self, their their false um, greatness that they take it from you. So imagine how how you're not gonna be able to get out of bed if you don't know how to, to fight to fight this person out. So um, it's not good. And I think a lot of people don't know that these people are around you. Or maybe you do, but you don't really understand what they're really doing to you in your life and they set you back. And we don't need energy. We don't need setbacks. So is there anything specific that you want to tell the fans? Any specific experience that you want to tell your fans? I want people to stay tuned, definitely, to what we're talking about. And I want people to keep your eyes and your ears open. Listen. Listen to your intuitions. This is about energies and you, personalities. This is about you. Right. So whenever you feel like, like I said, whenever you feel like your energy is being drained from somebody, you really need to take a second to think, what is this person really doing in my life and do they really need to stay? Because, like I said, we got to keep moving forward. And the hardest thing to do when moving forward is if you have someone that's pulling you back. Right. And I think that happens all the time. It's the way of life. It's a cycle of life. And I just want us to stop it and just know how or to learn fight. how to fight it. Right. Right. I understand that. And when she means fight, she means mentally fight, mental warfare, and how to stay strong with all this. But stay tuned to the music video because we're going to get to way more in depth in the music video. It's going to be a dope con concept. Y'all going to get the whole basic imagery of what we're talking about and everything. 
And stay tuned to all her upcoming projects, all her new music. Yes. Anything else you want to tell your fans? No, oh, just thanks for watching. Like this and share it. And stay tuned. Stay tuned. You already know what this is, man. Philly support Philly. Squad. <laughs>